first offering on the way. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. Pitch on the way. Now the 0-1 is right back past him on the mound, and it's going to keep on going into center field. It's a base hit. One Uribe will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. And here's a cold strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing and one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. you got to keep the ball down and get a like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. Fouled straight back. He's ready now. The pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Jimmy Rollins will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Starts him out with a knuckleball too high, 1-0. And against a veteran hitter like this, you got to be in that strike zone early in the count. Because the more pitches he sees, the better he's going to be able to time anything you've got. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. And Rollins will lay off here, and he's worked the count back to two and two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Daniel Rowe will get a chance to swing away, and he'll have a chance to pad onto his lead if he can deliver something here with two away. Here's the first offering. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Pause, now the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Eric, your Dodger ball club is they interplay here this afternoon. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. And they've got themselves a pretty good-sized lead in the division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach. They'll go the short way to Kendrick at second, and that'll be that. First pitch coming. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. Come on, come on, come on, come and he'll come on, take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. Carl Crawford will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. What the fuck is going on? Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. Howie Kendrick will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. And that's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. Here comes a 2-2. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Washington leads this one, one to nothing. Leading off for the Dodgers, the right fielder number Yasiel Puig is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Another 0-2 coming. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. This is the second time today he's gone on strikes. I'll tell you what, he's throwing also taking some chances with location, but you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. Adrian Gonzalez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And there's a swing and a miss that time by Gonzalez. Two strikes to him now. 
And this has been a common problem for all of these guys. They just can't lay off that pitch down and away. Oh, he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this <coughs> Andre Ethier swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Oh, he's got him eaten right out of the palm of his hand now. Two strikeouts already here in the inning. And now he gets the third guy to go after a first pitch out of the strike zone. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Taken there by Escobar. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and his side is retired. Daniel Rowe will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Daniel Rowe. He's ready. Now the pitch. Good downward action there, and it's 0 and 1. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. One run, six hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. He's set, now the pitch. Over for a look is Crawford, but this is a foul ball. <laughs> Come set, now the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Another 0 2. On the ground towards second. Right here, find the ball. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Nationals lead one, but they hold a 1 0 lead. One Uribe will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it, it should be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. And a curveball drops in on 2-1. Two, 2-2 two and two now. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Another 2-2 offering. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 now. No walks so far. Here's the 3-2. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Yosemite Grandal will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Outside target here. And he hits it for strike one. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. Here it comes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Zach Grinke will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard-hit balls there either. He's had him off balance all game. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first, and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Carl Crawford is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And, and you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here comes a 1-2. 
Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. Howie Kendrick will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Now the pitch. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here. And that's no small feat against this lineup. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. May get six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Yasiel Puig will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Here's the pitch. And this ball skied in the air out to Span in center. And he's got it for out number one. And we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Adrian Gonzalez stands in as he looks at a called strike. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Get out of here. Craig Stammen will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Jose Lobaton will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Dodger victory may not have been possible here without the start turned in by this man, Zach Greinke. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top.